Hi, I'm Joel Meeker, and this is Verse by Verse, a short podcast all about exploring the insights and lessons of the inspired Word of God. Today we're looking at Daniel chapter 7, verse 18. It says, But the saints of the Most High shall receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Here we have the exciting ending to the story of human history. The kingdom of God will rule for eternity. Daniel had already been given several prophecies about successive human empires that would rule the Holy Land and much of the known world of their times. All that history will end with the establishment of the kingdom of God, ruled by him, assisted by his saints. Daniel chapter 2 verse 44 says, And in the days of these kings the God of heaven will set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. It shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. In Daniel chapter 4 verse 34, King Nebuchadnezzar proclaims about God, His dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. Then in Daniel chapter 6, verse 26, Persian king Darius announces, For he is the living God and steadfast forever. His kingdom is the one that shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall endure to the end. Now when we hear the word saint, some people think of a special class of highly venerable people, often who have been martyred, and then have two miracles associated with them. But that's not the biblical definition. In the Bible, A saint is simply a Christian who has received the gift of God's Holy Spirit after being baptized. The word saint that we read in Daniel chapter 7 verse 18 means holy one, and it is of course God's presence alone which makes someone or something holy. When God gives his spirit to a human being, in God's view that person becomes holy. That doesn't mean perfect, but in a different category, with a divine seal on him someone with whom God is directly working. This verse states that resurrected, glorified Christians will rule under Jesus Christ in the kingdom of God for time without end. That goal makes all the ups and downs of this life worth the effort. We can look forward to no greater reward than the one God offers in this remarkable verse. Verse by Verse is a companion podcast to the Daily Bible Verse blog which you can find on the Life, Hope, and Truth Learning Center. Check out the show notes for more.